All right, so we are staying in the camp of the National Democratic Congress because its General Secretary, um, Fifi Fiavikwete, has called on the people of Damongo to ensure the restoration of the NDC by voting out the incumbent member of parliament, Samuel Abujinapo, in the upcoming elections. The NDC General Secretary was addressing a mammoth crowd of NDC supporters at Damongo in the Savannah region. In a bit, we'll be speaking to Nadra Mohammed, who is our Savannah Regional Correspondent, to help us understand why uh, this particular call. So, um, Nadi is joining us. Nadi, good afternoon. Thank you for joining us on Election 360. First of all, um, why would you think that the NDC General Secretary is asking for people to vote out the incumbent, um, who is uh, the Member of Parliament, Samuel Abujinapo? So good afternoon to you too. Um, what I said, the reason why the secretary is urging the people to vote out uh, the incumbent MP is that, according to uh, what they were saying, there's some um, witnesses. They said the MP goes around the uh, constituency sharing money to people, urging them to vote for them. So in other ways, they claim that the MP is buying votes from the constituency, saying that without the money, then uh, he knows that he wouldn't win the election. Hence, the reason why sharing money around to get uh, people to vote for him. Right, and I'm sure you've also been interacting with some of the constituents. What has their response been? Do they agree totally with the NDC's call for them to vote against the current MP? Yes, I, uh, when, I, I, when I spoke to some few, few members of the constituency, yes, they indeed said that, according to them, for the money, it's a national cake and then it belongs to everyone. So when the MP brings the money, definitely they will take the money, but they will definitely vote against the MP, citing that the MP has been in power for some time now and there's no development in Damango. And their, their main problem is the Damango Water Project. The people of Damango still struggle to get portable drinking water, even though they have an MP who is well to do. So they said that, okay, the MP is there, you give us the money, we take it, but we definitely vote against you. Because this is the, this is the constituency where um, NDC has uh, members, and they think that Damango and Savannah region in general is a stronghold of the NDC, and therefore, it was a mistake bringing the MPP uh, um, Abu Jinapo on board, and it's time to correct that mistake by voting him out of power and bringing, bringing on uh, Adams Mutokilu to um, continue from where he stops. And to do that, you need to make sure that the spirit of Damongo is restored. As long as Abu Jinapo continues to be MP here, it is a In so you have to make sure you get rid of that darkness right here. You cannot remove Nana Kufuado and Baumia out of power and leave Samuel Abujinako in, uh, in Damongo. No, he must go. Why? Because he represents the same spirit of Nana Kufuado and Baumia. The spirit that believes that you just have to corrupt the people. Money, corrupt people and get power out of them. You need to make sure that it is. So therefore, Honorable Gallows has to come back. Come on, you need to send Gallows back to Poland in order to make sure that John Dramani Mahaba will have an ambassador in that house to make You're still watching Election 360, the maiden edition, and we've just crisscrossed a number of constituencies. So the next constituency might just be yours. You might want to stay with TV3, which is your election command center. Let's hit the campaign trail now, where the New Patriotic Party's flag bearer, Dr. Mahmoud Baumia, says his party had demonstrated the ability to resolve major challenges facing the nation and should be given another four-year mandate. He told residents of Winchi that the NPP has demonstrated the ability to implement key policies despite the opposition NDC's pessimism.
ye ye nimse ye di adwen to so a ye betimi aye o ma penyi dada ni ne party ni de they have the mindset of impossibilities o mo adwen ka jere mo se o ye ntimi nye o hwe ejuma aye aye since 2017 sa na Ye ka se ye the free senior high school education eba Ghana. Di eba no mo ka ye. O mo si ye ntimi ye. O mo si ye da da Ghana for. O mo si it was not possible. Enye ye ka se it is possible. Ye ka ye no ya ye. Ya ye. Ene. Yet the free SHS a buyer, a few watching it, and Koda Baku 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 5.7 million children and your free senior high school education. 5.7 million. We munina and Kayetie Oman Pingy Dada and Kayenya free senior high school education. Yaka se ye the free technical and vocational education. Se de ebe ma ye kwada mo pese o mo suya nsa no ejuma o mo ko suya free. Yaka se ye de ba o mo ka se ye ntimi ye. O mo ka se it is not possible. Ye ye ka se it is possible. Yaka ye no ya ye. Ya ye. O mo kya teacher training allowance mo. Ya kase ya di baba biyub. Umu kase ya inti minye. Ya kamu kase it was not possible. Ya kase it is possible. Ya kaya no ya ye. Ya ye. Nursing training allowance. Ya kase it is possible. Ya ye.